Someone got some new roller blades, courtesy of Uncle Vinny and Aunt Kelly, Alec and Nicholas, one of those. It was someone's. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, February 11th, 2019, at just before 9 a.m. We didn't take the bus today. I'm going to drop Declan off. It gives us a little more time. He was up late last night. That's right, that's right, because he's a party animal. A rollerblader. So we got to go hit a roller skating rink. I haven't been to a roller skating rink since I was like 16. My mom used to drop me off there. I used to rollerblade. He's so cute, he's so tired. We don't tap on the glass. I just was like rubbing the glass and he hears it. He wakes up. Oh, he's so cute. Let me see a big yawn. So cute, so cute. Give me a big yawn. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that was great, yeah. Big yawn. Okay, go back to sleep. He's so tired, he's so cute. Back to school, back to back seat, back seat, back to school. To dead that I'm not a fool, or something like that. Gymnastics today. Unfortunately, we can't show you gymnastics because there's no. Um, no cameras allowed inside gymnastics. They don't want you filming there. So, that's unfortunate. 9.09 a.m. and it's 32 degrees. I got my seat heat on because so my butt doesn't freeze. School. I'm gonna say to you, have a nice day, be smart. I love you, and we'll see you after school. Made me a quick burrito. Just some grilled chicken, cheese, corn, black beans, a little bit of sour cream, refried beans, salsa, and a little bit of taco sauce I threw on there. So the motor home is back from the shop. Um, I'll give you a tour around. You know, it's, it's not an instructional video, or uh, I'm not an expert on motorhomes, but I'll show you ours. Let's go take a tour of that motorhome. I do like the fact that it has a solid roof, as opposed to um, the rubber. My last trailer had a rubber skin roof. I could barely walk on it. This one has a solid epoxy roof. I'm thinking about upgrading the bumper. Maybe putting a little bit of an extended bumper on, because this is just metal. I could probably do something custom, upgrade the bumper. This is our 2018 Forest River FR3. It's got the Ford V10 Triton chassis. Right now I've got the bed in the down position. It does go up when we're driving. I can drive with it down, but it rattles like crazy. I don't know if, if you're supposed to or if it's safe. I did try to leave the ladder there and just drive with the bed down and the bed was like jumping in its spot, you know. Uh, so the bed is electric. It goes up to the ceiling and stows, gets out of our way. The front seats turn around so they're usable in the main cabin which was very important to us um you know i, I didn't want the wasted space of the of the of the class c i felt like the class c i had to climb down into the front seats and then when i parked it was unusable space up front i like the idea that the floor here went straight across 
didn't go down at all. And then I had the the, uh, the table there, and I use it a lot. I put my laptop on the on the table. I put my laptop on the front workstation. I uh, get things done while we're camping. I sit here. The chair swivel, automatic shade. Wrong way. I had no issue with the front shade whatsoever. Then a recall comes out, and they say they need to add some sort of clip. And I went to put it down the other day, and it got stuck. I don't know what the heck happened. The front has a um, like a workstation you can pull out. While we're driving, Kristen can pull this out if she uh, needs to put something on there. I'll sit here like this using this table. Um, and then I have the other papers here. And then I'll, I'll use the computer. Look at the papers here. I have I'll have stuff all over the dashboard while we're away, doing stuff for my side business. I would love to say that it's stuff for our YouTube channel, but our YouTube channel is brand new, so I've never edited any videos in this coach. Um, this is all new, so I'm sure I will be this year though. The cockpit, the driver's seat. Um, Again, spins around, so it becomes part of the main cabin. The dinette is it's called a horseshoe, but you can't sit on the end. So the only real benefit to this that I see would be um, that you can lean against the wall with your back, I guess, and not hit the shades. I mean, I, I kind of would like, I think, I don't know, you would lose table space, but I like the dinettes that are, that you, that are cut off there that you can sit behind. You can sit the true horseshoe. Um... But it works. Everything's disheveled right now because I just drove home from the from picking it up from from the repair shop. Gas um, oven runs on propane. Microwave runs on electric. Storage space not a, not a bad amount of storage space. Again, when, when we were shopping for for motorhomes and we were walking around the shows this one caught my eye for a reason um number one was because of the way that the floor went straight across and i know many of them do that but this one caught my eye i like the it just i love the setup when i when i sat in i said oh man that's declan's bed up there i could see it already and we'll just leave the ladder down while we're while we're away and we'll have those two chairs part of the main cab, and it gives us the perfect perfect amount of room to do what we need to do. And it just kind of grabbed my eye, and I kept coming back to this one. Knew nothing about quality, knew nothing about workmanship, how it ran. I knew that I wanted a diesel pusher over a gas unit, but I don't have that money. You know, I, I, don't, I don't have the money to buy a diesel pusher motorhome right now. Um, so, we went with the gas unit. The Furion television that you see in a lot of RVs. I'm not 100% sure what the deal is with the Furion. I have to Google it, but I guess they're kind of an all-weather television. Um, my last camper, travel trailer, I had regular TVs. Stayed out all winter, never a problem. A uh, little extra storage behind, behind the television. Um, just... We, we, I don't know, it looks like a, kind of a, like a car charging plug back there, and then regular utility plug. Again, folks, my information is not expert information. I'm just showing you my motorhome. Um, I don't know a lot about them. I know how to break them, that's for sure. And as I break them, you'll see me try to fix them, and then you'll see me take it to a RV repair shop. <laughs> and get it fixed right the double rv fridge this was very important to me because boondocking um we go out to montauk we stay at a place called hither hills state park it has no hookups the only thing it has is a shared water um spigot in between like every four sites it's like a, a shared water spigot and people don't even hook up to those spigots they don't even tee off of them i don't think uh, i've never seen it in my sites but and i don't either so anyway, the double R free fridge. I do like that. Um, American Pride, made in the USA. That's, I'm a fan of that. But Norcold, good or bad, 
I couldn't tell you yet. But the size of the double RV fridge and freezer is fantastic. I, it's, you know, the residential fridge may seem like a good idea, but if you're doing a lot of boondocking and you're not running a generator, for me, personally, I think it's no good. I can run this off of um, gas or electric. I run it on gas while I'm driving. I run on propane. I'm sorry. I run it on propane while I'm driving. I run it on electric while I'm at the at the park. This here was a big selling point for us. We thought we were going to use this space more, and we didn't last season. And this was the biggest reason why we went with the 32 foot over the 28 or the 25. Was this couch area that drops to a bed, a jackknife drops to a bed. We thought that Declan was going to be riding back here, and this was going to be like his space. And he'd be playing video games and watching this television while we drove. That's That was my vision. And he doesn't. Very rarely. He sits here. Or he sits at the table and watches his iPad and watches YouTube. Or, you know, uh, the couch or the table. He's buckled in, sits there. He either watches television or he mostly watches his iPad because that's what he watches most of the time. We put these curtains up. Uh, we use this for storage. This was a top bunk. We didn't need the top bunk. We only have one child. We put curtains up to hide the junk and we made it into a storage space. And that works for us. The back bedroom. Um, another television. It has a decent amount of storage here, I think. Um, it's got two, both double cabinets. A, a, you know, a nice size. There's storage up above the bed on both sides. A nice size back window, which I should have open for light, for better video. But I'm an idiot, so I don't. Nice size back window. Um, nice escape window. There's a little storage behind the television. It's pretty, pretty clever. Whoop. Kristen likes to put her hair stuff back there, whatnot. Pretty clever little spot. Trying to use all the available space. Little counter space. Um, another window. Some cubbies next to the bed, which are handy dandy, which is fine. Cool. The generator. It has a 5,500 watt Onan's coming generator. It's gas. Um, everybody says, no way, Cummins doesn't make gas generators. They do, because there's one on my motorhome. I promise you. I've never put diesel in it. <laughs> it runs off of the runs off the gas tank. And this coach is gas, my friends. Um, oh, hello there. Bathroom cabinets, the pantry, not much going on, not much space, but it's okay. You know, how much do you really need to bring when you're camping? Shower? Eh. I thought this was going to be good. Not a fan. I'm probably going to move, um, I'm probably going to move that nozzle to there and we'll stand sideways, but the controls will still be there. Not a fan at all. Um, my last shower was smaller than this with a curtain in my travel trailer and it was easier to, to maneuver. It usually takes owning one or two RVs to realize what you end up wanting to go with and f for us now you know we know oh, all right, we, we, we had the travel trailer and then we knew we wanted a motorhome. We loved the idea of the motorhome. We bought a motorhome. Um, now I know what I want in a motorhome. I want a diesel pusher. I want a little more power, a little more oomph, a little more towing cap capability. I want um, an outdoor kitchen. I don't have an outdoor kitchen. You'll see in, in you'll see this season that I like create my own makeshift outdoor kitchen. I have a table with a water hookup, and I bring a fridge with a little fridge with me. I have outdoor kitchen envy. If you have an outdoor kitchen and I see you, I don't like you because I want what you have. I'm kidding, I love everybody. But I want what you have, I want an outdoor kitchen. Very important. My last trailer, I didn't have an outdoor TV. This one has an outdoor TV. That was very important to me. I didn't think the kitchen was a big deal. The kitchen's a big deal. I want it. 
I gotta have it. And I will have it. As much as Kristen says we're not getting we're not getting a new motorhome anytime soon. We are. In a couple years. I guarantee you. Stick around. Now I'm gonna turn the generator off because I had turned it on just to test it. Because it's good to start it up every couple I like to start it up every couple days. Kind of lets the equipment know that we're still here. We're still alive. Um all right. That's it for the inside for now. I'm gonna take you outside and see what we got going on in some of the compartments. Now don't break my chops. Um, the compartments are messy. It's it's the off season. Pulled some stuff out to take it to the shop. I threw a bunch of junk in there. The compartments are messy. I know. Um, I need to reorganize before the season starts. You'll see during the season things aren't that disorganized. I've got everything has a place. Um, but right now they're a little messy. But I'm still gonna give you the the tour of the compartments anyway. So that's it for the inside of the 2018 Forest River FR3 32DS. Do you like it, Sean? How's it treating you? I heard Forest River's a piece of junk. I don't know. I'll let you know. If I had a bad experience at an RV park, you just won't hear about it. Um, I live by the philosophy of praise in public, scold in private. If I go to an RV park, and the spaces are tight, or the kids are loud, you know, or the pool wasn't as warm as they said. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna badmouth the RV park. Um, I'm gonna give all highlights of the place. I'm not in the business to badmouth people, because maybe the pool just wasn't warm that day. Maybe the heater broke for a day, and I happened to be there for two days and the pool was cold. I'm not gonna bash these places because because things like that. Otherwise, more the merrier. Keep it tight. One big happy family. I'm a little squished in here, but I'll show you the outside the compartment space now. This is the compartment with the uh, invisible floors. Television. Not a giant TV, but plenty. I can get up in the morning, watch the news, sports channels, sports news, etc. That was a must-have for me from my last camper to this camper to this motorhome. I needed an outside TV. Something that I could just open the door and turn on. Simple. I didn't want a TV that I had to carry outside, stick it on the wall, run a cable or anything like that. Something simple. Outdoor storage, nothing in there right now. Normally, sometimes was the barbecue, but we've gone with a new barbecue. I have to see if it fits in there. Uh, you can see it has the drain holes. It's got power sources, and then you run the power through there if you like. Out side. <clears throat> um, usually keep the barbecue in there. Other miscellaneous items, maybe some stuff for the campfire, etc. This is just an access panel to the water heater. So you can reach the water heater. I guess the water heater, if you had to take it out, would come out of that panel. I'm not even sure. Size-wise, yeah, I guess if you had to replace the water heater, you take it right out of there. It's easy as that. That's where I go to hit the low point drains and whatnot. Get all the water out of the system so it doesn't freeze in the winter. Just some access panels. I don't even know why they put these here. Um, it's kind of, I'm sure they have a reason, but. The outside, see this, I first day pulling into the driveway, and I drive trucks. When I was, before I got promoted to lieutenant and captain, I used to drive fire trucks in Manhattan. Never hit a thing. Come home, pull in my driveway, in the dark, I rub my utility trailer on the side. You gotta be kidding me. Just my luck. This thing's jam-packed. I just threw everything in here. This is a tiny compartment on this side, but you'll see on the other side, it's huge. Um, and that's the, I just keep the breakfast grill in there and whatnot, which I'll probably get rid of because I just got a Blackstone, which I love that thing. I cook breakfast in the house on that thing, whatnot. This pool apartment has a lot of good space. It's hard to tell right now because I got stuff jammed in there. I'm using it like a storage space. 
but I've got that outdoor fridge I was talking about, a bunch of chairs, the dog bed, um, fold up tables, you name it, it's in there. <laughs> it's all in there. Some more storage, that's where I keep the, the plug-in heater for inside, some extra wood chocks. The clothesline. Water hookup. Outdoor shower, which I broke the hose. So uh, I have to replace that. Um, keep the blowout connection in there. Otherwise, it's the um, tank flush, tank fill, and the water fill. So, you know, my city water connection. Sewer outlet. Gray water and black water. This is where I keep the poop hoses. The travel trailer had, I kept the poop hose in the bumper. That was nice. This one doesn't have that. Gotta keep the poop hoses in that green container over there. And the water hoses are in the other green container, which I'll probably replace this year. And I keep the containers in this cabinet. I don't even remember what's in here. Ah, the generator. 5,500 watt Cummins Onan gasoline generator. Really good, I really like it. it. Treats us well. Access panel, so you can get in there for repairs, and the propane tank. Propane fill, propane tank. Now, I'll take you top side, and we will check out the roof quick. Although, she does need a bath. The roof needs to be clean again. Um, the Forest River, oh, I got my old, my old uh, yard, yard sneakers on. Forgot that I was gonna be showing my feet up on the roof. I'm so embarrassed. Um, the, the roof is solid. Um, you know, it's, uh, I mean, I'm sure there's more solid roofs out there, but my last camper had like a rubber roof. And this one, it's a, it's more of a solid material, an epoxy. I can walk on it, no problem. A couple people can walk on it, no problem at all. I just have to seal the seams, which I'm going to do, I don't know, probably next month, seal the seams and uh, pull up all the old lap sealant, give it another shot play it safe but I do like this feature the 2017 I believe did not have the solid roof 2018 did and that was a big selling point for me that I do try to do every day sometimes every other day sometimes every three days depending on how the weather is and that's what heats our house for the year that's how we heat our house split wood this season for next season and we burn it you know two wood burning stoves and we pay very little in heating bills and it's a lot of work it's exercise, but Lord knows I need it. So, here comes Declan. And here comes Declan of the bus. There he is. Bah, bah, bam. How was school today? Good. Yeah? Uh -huh. What'd you learn? That was Rain's last day in school. Why? 
Yeah. He's moving? Are you sad? Sorta. Are I you cried. You cried? Oh. That's your buddy, right? Mm-hmm. That's sad. It's okay though. People move. It happens. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. It's very cold, so why don't we get inside? Don't kick my rocks. Why don't we get inside? And and uh, we gotta relax. No outside stuff today, okay? It's getting cold. Let's go inside, please. Hey, Pop fixed the mailbox. Nice. Pop fixed the mailbox. I forgot all about it. He fixed it. Well, Pop fixed the mailbox for us. That was nice. Must have been while I was at work. That is definitely a big bonus, having your parents live around the corner. Pop living around the corner definitely is a bonus, right? Comes around and fixes things all the time. Mimi comes over here and paints stuff all the time, works in the yard and the garden. It's a blessing, for sure, having your parents living a block away. Huge help. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see your tongue. Ah, you look like an alien. <laughs> you look like goth, like you have a blue lipstick on. It's even your teeth are blue. No, eh, maybe a little bit. Silly. And he ate a blue ice pop. Already. Would you say you want another snack? This kid eats non-stop. Snacks, snacks. Can't get him to eat dinner, but he eats a lot of snacks. Ba-boom! Ba-boom. She can't help it. <laughs> homework time. And some smart food popcorn. Smart food, is it making you smarter? Helps you with your homework? Don't know? You don't think it's working? Oh, look at that. Mommy bought Fun Dip. Who bought Fun Dip? That's not for us. No! What's it for? For your class. Oh, Mommy, fun dip. Mommy's loading them up with sugar. What? Let me see that thing. <sighs> Hold it still for a second. What is it? It's a lion. It's a squishy ball lion. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Your mom. Ooh, nom, nom. Winding down. Monday night. Getting ready for the Tuesday grind. Poppy corn. Look. Roll over. Want to hit? Hit what? Some whipped cream. Where? Yeah, roll over. Where? <laughs> what do you mean, where? where? Open up. Open up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to eat it. No hands. You got to eat it. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm taking a hit. Wait, Dad. I want to see that. Yeah. Drop this. You can clean up before mommy finds out. Yeah, Bean, lick it up. <laughs> this is why we have a dog. That over Phil. That's it. That's gonna do it for Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. School. Um what else tomorrow? Haircut maybe? I don't know. We'll see what the day Holt has in store for us. Say goodnight. Night. Good night. We love you. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.